scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Um, it's going to be a whole lot of... Let's see how it goes. If they get too tired, I'm sure outside will be cold and wet. But if we can get a few of them there, then uh, that would be fine. But um, I know it's cold. Is the season and um, better days are coming. The day will come when it is raining, you will not even know. Oh, yes. Enjoy the process. Never pity yourself on your way to greatness. Enjoy every process. Be featured on the way so that you will have a story to tell. Let it not be that it was when everybody arrived that you came. So that you will have a story too. And say one day, whilst listening to the word of God, I was standing outside cold. And you look at your children and say it was that diligence that brought about the blessings we have today. Hallelujah. I have learned never to be embarrassed. For as long as I know I am on the path to greatness, follow it. In the rain, the sun in convenience and in inconvenience follow it diligently and be proud of your pursuit and sacrifices nobody wins the olympic by mistake life is intentional progress is intentional it will cost you it has never been a secret the cost dimension of life is not a secret it's a price that is obvious everyone knows that to be great there will be sacrifices there will be seasons of constraint only a fool expects results without process Lord, we thank you for what you are doing. We are proud of where you are leading us. And Lord, we ask for grace to learn to appreciate and to access the keys that will help us rise in the name of Jesus. I've been thinking about tonight's meeting. Um, I think about all the meetings, but tonight's meeting struck me because um, every once in a while, the Holy Spirit just gives me an opportunity to reminisce on all the teachings that have come. Um, and I submit to us in this house that God has granted us access to many, many teachings. This year alone, we have been exposed to several teachings. And you see, the goal of these teachings, these teachings are informations. They are revelations that we are supposed to receive. We are supposed to believe. We are supposed to engage them and then watch them produce results in our lives and lift us from one dimension to the other hallelujah the goal of revelation is the transformation that it brings so that your life becomes an epistle you become a testimony that god did not lie in that area and truly it takes a while for the truth to settle in us and produce the desired results but we must endure. Hearing once, learning once, knowing once does not get the job done. We must immerse ourselves. It's from the word baptizo. Baptism. We must immerse ourselves in this truth until we are literally possessed by them. And then they will produce undeniable results in our lives. Proverbs chapter 4 
There's a song in my spirit. Let praises rise from the inside. You know the song? From the inside of me. May you delight. Very powerful song. In the inside. In the inside of me. Of me. instruction of a father and attend to no understanding we're reading down to verse 9 for i give you good doctrine forsake ye not my law verse 3 for i was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother for he taught me also and said unto me let thine heart retain my words keep my commands and leave five get wisdom get understanding although it is so volatile but forget it not neither decline from the words of my mouth forsake her not and she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all your getting get understanding exalt her esteem her place value on her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her verse 9 she shall give unto thy head an ornament of grace a crown of glory shall she deliver unto thee Praise the Lord. I am amazed at what the wisdom of God can do in the life of an individual, an organization, a church, a ministry. I am awed. While I was coming, I was talking to one of the protocol the persons who was with me. And I was just nodding my head and I told him, I said, the wisdom of God We desperately desperately need the wisdom of God you see the Bible says there is a way please listen carefully there is a way that seemeth right unto a man there is a way that culture proposes and says men walk in it there is a way that intellectualism Sophia human wisdom experience are we together now encapsulated in education science whatever it is the logic of life there is a way that it leads you there is a way that society leads you to approach life there is a way your instinct that is a derivative of the unrenewed mind leads you but the bible says listen carefully it says the end thereof are the ways of death our society is full of people guessing their ways 
our society is full of people hoping they are right our society is full of people imagining that they will make it young people fathers mothers leaders largely walking in confusion hoping that we understand what we are doing Do you know sometimes when i stand and i look at people i just feel like crying because i'm tempted to ask the question truly speaking who did this to us at what point did the confusion start are we together i have been passionate and you would have noticed that i i discovered that we have done well in this house with respect to exposing us to encounters by god's grace teachings have come teachings after teachings helping us to understand the person the ministry of the holy spirit we have seen encounters we have seen the power of god we have seen the glory of god but at the start of this year when the lord told me it was our year of triumph i took out time to take a little inventory and i found out that um, although god had helped us we were lacking grossly in the understanding of the systems of the kingdom we were doing well in terms of encounters the love for god passion prioritizing god but i knew that we needed to step up our understanding otherwise frustration will be inevitable it is painful to love god and still fail did you hear what i said it is it is justifiable to to hate to fail when you hate god and fail you say after all i'm not serious but when you love god a dear lady asked me a question day before yesterday i think and she said apostle are there good men i'm not teaching on, on men are there good men again and i said are you kidding of course they are and she said my mother was a good woman why is her life this way and it struck me again see let me tell you this you never never guess your way to greatness you never get your way to guess your way to peace the older you become it does not equate to the wiser you become there are 70 80 90 year old people remember we are conditioned environmentally that means that somebody mentored somebody who mentored somebody who mentored somebody who went to a school and submitted himself to a teacher's view who mentored somebody who later married somebody who mentored some children we our society is a chain of mentorship largely a communication of informations that are unscriptural and inaccurate are we together this is a very uncomfortable truth but we have to admit it because our lives and our results show that we obviously are missing it somewhere let me challenge us a bit look at your finances you will agree with me that something is missing somewhere look at your family life married or not if you're married look at your family why the fight why the quarrel it gets worse if both of you are christians look at the children why are they unruly why are they indisciplined how about your job look at the retrogression in our lives are we together now and do you know what most people will say this is what we say i don't know what i don't know why things are not working i've taught you here and i will drum it until it enters your spirit nothing works by itself nothing works by itself marriage does not work by itself spiritual life does not work by itself becoming blessed and wealthy does not work by itself becoming employed becoming responsible does not work by itself becoming a virtuous lady becoming a responsible man does not work by itself brothers and sisters growing spiritually does not work by itself becoming transformed does not work by itself everything in life must be engaged with wisdom to produce are we together now our confusion in life is because our intentions are not our results what we desire is not what we see so we desire a particular outcome 
but certain other outcomes keep happening and they keep repeating themselves regardless of the strategies we are trying ask any family represented here they will tell you we are tired of suffering we are tired of argument we are tired of pain can't we live in peace then they hold a meeting and say let's live in peace they all agree two days later everybody has gone haywire do you know why because the issue is not counseling the issue is the bankruptcy of certain informations our unwillingness to admit that time does not give knowledge please can you just flow just play something to flow hallelujah time does not impart knowledge time never never decides anything time only reveals I can go on my knees tonight and beg every one of you listening to me here listening online we are not acting on stage this thing is not a drama we are trying to act called ministry we are talking about transforming people there there is an exact formula you have to understand this there is a programming society has programmed our minds Africa has been programmed in a certain way demons have worked with information for years and decades they have come from culture to culture from university to university from college to college from school to school they have indoctrinated men into thinking and understanding life in a particular way that is producing unfavorable outcomes listen pain will never produce change it only reveals the need for change That you are going through an unfavorable situation does not mean it will change that you are crying and say oh god will you not wipe my tears it may provoke the mercy of god but every time god wants to show you mercy he does two things he sends his word and he sends men the solution to our problems our challenges the doors we trust and hope to open are shrouded in men and information you reject men you reject truth you will die it says love me proverbs chapter 4 paraphrasing right that i will preserve you i will glorify you i will put an ornament of glory upon you please listen to me the hardest person the hardest person to ever help is the man and the woman who is resistant to change the moment an individual holds on to an old idea an old information whether theologically established philosophically established educationally established it doesn't matter what the basis is for as long as you are unwilling to open up your mind for the vetting and the probing of the spirit if per adventure the information you have carried on through your life is wrong there is nothing embarrassing about discovering that you have believed a lie you can change there is always time for a meek and a humble person who will say look i believe there has to be why am i a bad father begging and begging i'm 50 years we are still staying in a rented apartment i love god something is wrong why is there no favor in my life everything i lay my hands to do doesn't work listen listen this is not the issue of man of god pray for me this is the issue of submitting yourself to say i know that i am missing something because your life is producing a result it's just that it's the result you don't want if your life were not producing pain is a result failure is a result it means you are activating certain principles unknowingly limitations are results Am I blessing you tonight? Let's not act as if God is so wicked and cannot help us and cannot change us and cannot lift us. Hear me, your life and my life is at the mercy of our understanding of the systems of the kingdom. Provided we submit ourselves to understand it, I give you a guarantee your light will come. But for as long as we sit down and allow demons to build fortification, along our wrong thinking our wrong mindset we argue and insult and move in pride 
especially for we the men because you see men our that sense of authority and dominion sometimes the false version of it has eaten us up the fact that we have accessed certain information for years does not mean it is valid a whole nation can be wrong that an information is old does not make it right it's been there but it's not right are we together our society is full of needless pain and sorrow sorrow upon sorrow there are families today that cannot live in peace they love God tongue talking some of them are even working in the vineyard of God but the systems of God that have been allocated to make for peace is not there divorce rates are soaring young people marrying the lifetime of marriages two years lovely people educated they love god once upon a time they could not sleep until they talk with themselves two years later they hate themselves what do you not know why do people fail a family of 10 people nobody ever rises beyond certain barriers we we say demons yes it is the obvious reason but not the only reason something authorized them a door was open to them most of us the demons have been casted yet our lives have not changed because there is an equation that will have to commit us commit our understanding and our participation anybody who is unwilling to listen to this has failed not will fail has failed hallelujah when i understood the systems of god my life changed do you know someone sent me a text today lamenting and languishing on a lot of things in his life you know certain monies he was hoping he can get and he said if i can just get this 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 i will have peace i said no sir no sir you can have peace now peace is a revelation peace is a revelation it is not the product of the arrival or departure of certain factors peace is a revelation you can choose to be frustrated and wrinkle yourself to death our society is full of angry people whose lack of understanding has added to their age young people looking old why because a revelation has programmed them even their bodies they have wrinkled themselves 10 years ahead of their age moving in anger and frustration I came here tonight to challenge us God is not a magician God is not just a miracle worker God is a God of principles a miracle is a sign that something went wrong and so God intervenes supernaturally to correct it a principle is a sign that things are working as designed are we together now yes every one of us seated here came from a family listen carefully came from a culture and all of our cultures have certain tenets certain understandings foundationally we were indoctrinated with those things as a template for living we have perspectives financially speaking we have perspectives maritally speaking we have perspectives even in our pursuit of godliness we have perspectives in the area of parenting we have perspectives in the area of education and orientation we have perspectives in just our sociological living relationships and most of these perspectives most of it was fabricated by men and women who did not it was not a derivative of the ministry of the holy spirit it came as a result of people carving out a a system of relationship based on their pain their hatred their frustration and let me tell you something that you are born again does not transform you automatically it is only the access point for transformation to start being born again means that you are now authorized to legally begin to engage yourself in transformation there is something that we have allowed we have introduced it like a drug in our spirits in our minds that is cancerous is producing outcomes we do not desire so you see a lot of people and they tell you this is what i want but then their lives never produce it 
because another system is interrupting your desire and compelling a result that is not consistent with your desire see that so every time you come for koinonia know this that your coming for koinonia is a bailout system god is rescuing you some of you god is single-handedly picking you out of a family of 11 people to say look if you people keep praying and doing night vigils you will do it forever the, the spiritual dimension is ready to be corrected but there is a level of partnership with the holy spirit through knowledge through understanding there is something you must engage nobody nobody is born successful even if you are born into a rich family it is not your success the bible says in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it said this book of the law shall not depart this compendium of mysteries this this the, the wisest perspective in all matters let it not depart he said but thou shalt meditate therein day and night consistently right he said that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein it leaves you with a promise not a suggestion he says then shall you make your way prosperous and you shall have good there is bad and wicked and foolish success there is good success look at me there is no such thing that god chose one person sam come and said you you will succeed and then chose another person and say you you will fail no way god is very just he created the systems and said anybody that wants to succeed subscribe to it in other words my being successful is not something god just chose to do last week he allocated the pathway the same way when you follow a road the government they, they build the road whoever wants to get to that destination follow it whether a child whether an adult the road does not ask you how old you are provided you are following legally says go you don't go to buy a car and they ask you how old you are no no once you can pay for it it is given to you is that true why are we failing why are things not working in our lives why are we sitting down hoping that one day god will change whereas he has decided you see if the will of god is not known to us if the will of god is not known to us we will keep praying foolish prayers and we'll keep asking as if it is god's pleasure to watch us go through pain and frustration something we do not know is responsible for these pains and these tragedies please give us jeremiah 29 and verse 11 jeremiah 29 and verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think towards you this is god speaking thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you other versions say a future and an expected end a defined end not not an end that let's just be going and we hope no 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 an expected end that means there's something god has for me joshua selman in the blueprint of prophecy he designed that i will become something whether or not i become it is not up to him he has designed it it is my cooperation with him that will determine whether i will leave the reality of prophecy there are people god designed to be millionaires as it is they have never touched one million but in the heart in the loins of prophecy is their heritage is their destiny one of the most deceptive statements in the church is if god wants me he has the power to make it it is it is using the truth to kill you are using the truth like a knife and turning it to pierce people to say if god wants it he will make it no there are many things god wants to do that is not yet done on earth it is his will that all men be saved there are men still going to hell the fact that somebody went to hell is a sign that if you don't change nothing will change because if god has people to attend to he will attend to those going to hell first before the issue of rent are we together sorry i'm sure they are working on the sound if it does go off then we are going to pray is that fine promise already gave us uh, 
so I, I think I've said enough for us to pray for any reason the sound goes off just fire and pray very seriously and say Lord what I've had so far you see how my life is going you lay your hands and you pray don't laugh you pray and say father I know I bear witness with the fact that I am confused as I'm standing now I don't know my left from my right I'm just growing older you need to give me direction and decorum hallelujah do you know marriages now are some of the most fearful things once you see two people about to get married the first thing I look is not whether they love themselves the first thing I look is whether they understand the systems of the kingdom you just carry a lady you carry a lady that you want to marry and two of you stand and we say now what is the name of what you are doing you say we love ourselves and uh, we're trusting the Lord to live together that's wonderful it's a good starting point but do you understand the mysteries that have been allocated for living for the next 60 years knowing that you will get old she will get old not knowing physically speaking the things that the future holds do you understand the mysteries what if after your wedding night somebody appears and say you took my wife do you know what to do or will you cry this is what we are talking about if you get married to this wonderful lady now for instance and in the night while you are sleeping you are happy wedding night you danced all through the day and on your wedding night a stranger appears and say well in case you don't know they don't marry anyhow from this family and since you came foolishly i am here do you understand that this one is not love again this is spiritual intelligence because many of us will get up and say ah, honey i had a very bad dream let me it's not just a bad dream your life is about to be wrecked into pieces because we live in an environment that we walk through spiritual intelligence now love took you there understanding keeps you understanding keeps you brothers and sisters don't say i got born again you have watched seven people from your family the highest time they stayed in their marriages were two years what makes you think you will stay more so it, it is true love your wife but much more than that access the keys access the keys are we together what if your wife gets pregnant and you hear a report and they say the body the baby is turning anyhow and is about to kill your wife what mystery do you know that's no longer love what do you know are you hearing what i'm saying when you start building your house and someone comes the next day you come and see the blood of a goat on they demarcate it on the side of your fence you don't know the person who put it but you put it there and then they leave a letter if you add one more block you will die responsible gentleman you went to school but what are you going to do about that situation listen carefully to what i'm telling you those who are those of our parents fathers and mothers here know they they understand what i'm saying is the young people that are just laughing and joking when you rise and become responsible for your life you know that this world is a fierce place it's not a place of joke at all you see a letter written there nobody has built in this house in this family what gives you the audacity to say you want to start building a house at 27 they put that blood there as a sign be warned can you answer whoever wrote it without seeing him because the person put it and ran away can you carry the block by yourself and drop it and say because of what you said mason we are working day and night ah it's risky to not know how to respond did you hear what i said it's not just dangerous it's risky hear what i'm saying it's risky you go for a wedding and you are dancing and somebody comes to just touch you and hug you and rub all kinds of things on you and go away is there a system of immunity that answers immediately i'm not talking of prayer your life has been equipped already by default that woman touches something and as she's going back headache starts first then the leg stops working and then whatever shrine tells her you made a mistake big mistake 
you touch somebody who is not just a dancer on a wedding ground there is a warrior quietly seated what do you know that is because of tribalism they look at you and say we are relieving you from your job your wife is not working you are the only one working on account of your faith and integrity because you refuse to bribe are we together they now bring you a sack letter do you know what else to engage so you don't go hungry or will that experience begin the the start of your frustration what do you know and what do you not know this is what i want you to know on earth the days the days i, I was speaking with jimmy's father-in-law this morning and he was telling me he said kai that during our time it uh, their time now it was a bit easier and he said during our time now uh, the world is spiritual everything i mean you have to be spiritual about everything literally literally many young people are not spiritual i know you are not spiritual because you do not know what to do brothers and sisters when you return home and you see your father beating your mother boxing her you are a stupid woman you are a witch you are a devil as one who has worked with god do you know what to do or will you stand and say let me separate them sorry and you go back to your room and say god when will you wipe our tears do you know what to engage this this is my assignment this year to to equip you to know what to do that is your man of god pray for me wonderful but what if the man of god is sleeping because it is only the keeper of israel that doesn't sleep joshua selman sleeps and he can slumber we keep carrying heart pain and say i called you by two thirty, sir you were sleeping of course well, what is the meaning of that of course are we together there is something we do not know we allow evil to step into our families and just destroy people like chickens and we sit down and say god i think you have to do something wonderful submit your prayer request at miracle service but much more than that will you be able to rise in intelligence look at the suffering that ravages families financially and do you know the pain it happen is happening to people who love and fear God this is what makes it painful if I don't love God and I don't fear God whatever I get I have to admit it but when I love God and fear God I serve him truly I serve him faithfully and then all of a sudden nothing works Lord I'm looking for transport to come to church I can't come for koinonia because there is no transport lord i'm looking for my school fees it's only twenty thousand. it can't happen lord my father is about to die i i, we, I just need five thousand for his drugs is it really the will of god to leave you in that pain who taught you is the will of god are we together We have allowed the devil to destroy our lives. Can I present scenarios right now and ask you what your response will be? Can I give all of you koinonia right now and say from all you have learned from January till now, write the following exam. And then I create an imaginary scene. My dear, we, we want to buy a fan for the worship team. And we leave the spiritual responsibility to you engage every key you know our own is bring us a fan based on the mysteries do you know what to do what are you going to do what is step one what is step two for many of us step one is to cry step two is to argue step three is to look on to man and and step four is to be frustrated but there are others who know what to do are we together yes some of us right now unfortunately 
our loved ones have gone to be with the lord like the gentleman who said his father has died the, the gentleman sharing the testimony father died mother died he had to stand in as a young man for his sister but what spiritual intelligence he blessed her because he understood that things don't just happen you don't just have twins just because you you are you think you're a matured man and you have a wife that the realm of the spirit controls this realm he did that like a joke came to the house of god for reinforcement the result was as desired when your result is as desired it meant the principle was correct when you have it the way you want it it means that the principle was correct light my life like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle what do you do if you get up in the morning and just feel a sharp pain are you intelligent enough to know what to engage please koinonia listen to me i want you have to learn this thing my assignment this year is to cause you to be spiritual to understand the systems of the kingdom so you know what to do the salvation of many is dependent on your wisdom the correct application you see the bible presents the wisest perspective in all matters the wisest perspective in all matters i don't trust myself outside of the word of god the bible is not an opinion to choose what to believe and choose what to refuse it's a compendium of the wisdom of god and it says get wisdom understand how to apply the keys of the kingdom correctly and you will rise up like an edifice if i get up in the morning right now and my chest starts paining me and i start coughing blood do i know what to do or is it the day i'm in the hospital quarter to die that i start saying which message do i listen to the bible says be instant in season these keys will test you do you understand the keys listen listen the bible tells us there are arrows that fly by day i'm not scaring you is the truth are we together now what gives you guarantee that on your way to travel to kaduna or abuja tomorrow the devil is not planning to kill you what if right now god should open your eyes and you see that in the realm of the spirit they have given you 24 hours to die do you know what to engage it's risky to live not knowing what to do it's riskier to make bold face and bold statements when you have not gotten that key because you will brag and talk and talk and be whipped and punished only god knows how many covens only god knows where and where they have taken my name let this guy die let him not reach august only god knows the demons that have been casted out you think they don't take back reports they ask them from whence comest thou i came from koinonia what happened this mad young man this crazy idiot called joshua selman casted us let's plan can we kill him in two weeks yes two more weeks yes they added two more weeks i'm still standing oh he's about to take a flight can we do something because they will plan no they will plan i i wish what i was i was telling you was a lie on tuesday we are going to eat for pastor alpha's program what is the guarantee that you will not die in the, on in the accident as you are going what is the guarantee that as we are not drive the car will capsize and kill me i'm coming back for sure If I die, you can say I made noise and I died. But for as long as I'm alive, no. I found it here. 
the wisdom of God Jesus said I have the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up did you hear that men are given the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up now don't feel bad if your loved one has gone to be with the Lord don't worry you are alive now the responsibility is on you you can't receive this for your family you can only intercede for them when it comes to the matters of the kingdom is first a personal affair it must become truth and life to you they are life to those who find them koinonia they are life to those who find them we live in a fierce and a wicked society if someone one of our ladies was giving me a testimony and she said how that someone came to boggle i think to boggle their room or so and carry a laptop now that whoever that thief is has stolen and has gone sad but do you understand a system in the kingdom because you need the laptop and for some of us maybe that laptop just came it was if somebody gave it to you now you are in a straight betwixt you need that laptop what key do i now engage you can't cry forever now that it has gone what do i do are you hearing what i'm saying i wish we had time tonight we are going to pray seriously i would have called a few people at random and would have just created imaginary life scenarios and i would have asked what you have learned so that we don't keep compounding mysteries upon mysteries upon mysteries there are so many other mysteries lined up that you will be learning between now and the end of the year but the key is are you getting it is it spirit and life to you hallelujah are we together one of the mysteries that i'm trusting that the lord god of heaven will help us to conquer is this thing up of poverty and lack hello believers hear me poverty and what say it poverty and poverty and lack is a mystery i told you poverty is a strategy by satan it's a strategy poverty is not just a state of mind it's a spiritual strategy one of the most effective arsenal of satan for making the lives of people useless we come from different backgrounds with different experiences but we can begin to make our choices and trust god to help us i'm not teaching on on poverty or prosperity tonight but um, my, my assignment tonight is to review and introduce us to the keys my heart I, I it kept burning in me since through the week and i said lord my prayer is that your people your people will get this thing that they will understand it and it will rise hallelujah what do you not know sister what are you still allowing inside your head that is authorizing the devil to make life miserable for you brother what is it that god has been trying to pound out of your life that you are refusing to let go me this is how it is so my my i must am this like that that's how we are in our culture where we come from is it working is it working be honest is it working listen one of the keys of great people is their disloyalty to any information that does not produce there's no such thing as i was born with this if it does not work dump it throw it far from you and embrace that which is capable of blessing you the scribes and the pharisees already knew the truth but because of the ethics of tradition are we together now Nicodemus came to Jesus by night in John chapter 3 and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God so they knew they were not in confusion but in the daytime they refused why because of the rudiments of tradition the Bible says that has made the word of God of none effect as though it were not powerful could it be that there is something this gentleman can know he's about writing his last exam 
if not because of the strike i'm sure maybe this week or next week he would have written his exam now and been a confirmed doctor now six seven years ago he, he probably would have been a naive gentleman just with a desire but he passed through a system month after month principle after principle and now after six years he's one exam to go to become a confirmed doctor and every other person called a medical doctor in the world just becomes a senior or junior colleague instantly what is the difference now whereas somebody would be convulsing eight years ago and this guy will stand confused eight years later someone will be convulsing and say it's all right it's something we can handle because something something and information your fear is a sign that you have not learned something thank you you will never be truly free from fear until knowledge bails you out fear is destroying us fear of the future fear of everything fear of death fear of living young people are afraid will i ever be established with a salary of fifty thousand as a graduate when will i ever be able to build a house it will not build you a house what will build you a house is the understanding of the word of god they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arms save them but thou O lord because thou shown a favor towards them you must understand the keys that are responsible for activating the things that we need in life hallelujah mother there is something you can know that can transform your children could it be that the rebellion from the children is a product of an approach that may be cultural but not scriptural cultural but not scriptural there are men who are taught beats the living daylight out of your wife it's a way of showing her that you are a man she does anything beat her once she will behave you have tried it infinite times it has not changed that woman may be a sincere woman under the influence of a spirit all that she may need is one encounter with the power of god and she's free and she will be one of the nicest women in the whole world now you can manage you can beat yourself there's there was a gentleman that joined the queue after service and there were like three four five lines to him and i looked at him and i was surprised how could a spirit still be in this guy even after a very heavy service i was looking and i was seeing a spirit the guy was playing but in the realm of the spirit i was seeing so i kept quiet when the guy just came and stood close to me i said what's wrong and the guy said i'm i'm a thief i can steal anything i said ah that's it you see that that take that thief to the prison you you hang him there behind the bars and say promise and write an agreement that you will never touch anybody's biro again while he's doing that the spirit steps out and then the same human being will sign the agreement and the spirit will enter two weeks after going out something starts pushing him it's not him everybody will beat him at home and say what do i do with this child because the mystery one minute prayer how many minutes one minute prayer under the heavy anointing will build that guy's 10 years of misery but because see let me tell you ignorance makes pain continue it prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain are we together and I just, it was just a simple tap I gave him on the head. And that was the end of it. That wild, wicked spirit. Because the gentleman confessed that he was willing to be free. How about people that come here, you see someone standing, almost staggering. And you say you came, you, you smoked something before you came to church. He won't argue. That's a sign that he wants to change. But there is something he does not know. See, the house of God is truly a blessing is a place where the mysteries that are responsible for your desire are given to you that's why it matters are you seeing the reason why god loves crowd the crowds are made of people the people are made of their needs they need access to the truth to be free
that's how we change society I can tell you something and I say it with all my heart and with all joy by the grace of God the marriages that will happen in this ministry will be heaven on earth listen it's not just prophecy alone the keys have been given some of our loved ones here who are married you see the peace and tranquility regardless of what there are some kinds of evil that cannot happen it's gone do you know why knowledge there are people here who have married different tribes the same tribe but same knowledge the same knowledge has brought them into the same kingdom culture i've said it again and again that we will all be great you believe that prophecy and that the best part is that we will all know ourselves you will see it it will start one step don't forget about what you have not gotten today line upon line you are walking you are taking that step and it's in the name of the lord and god is helping you you may not look like it but the hand of god is upon you there is a mystery that is navigating you towards the right path hallelujah christianity is not a religion christianity is a work that should be approached with the wisdom of god the word of god represents the wisdom of god what is the wisdom of god the scriptural solution to every problem on earth the scriptural approach his modus operandi his method is called his wisdom god's approach to life is his wisdom god's approach to life is his wisdom and the bible is full of it jesus himself the epitome of wisdom when he came upon the earth we saw the way he approached life the spirit of the christ empowered several people from genesis to revelation and they manifested dimensions of living that were supernatural enviable admirable and the lord has said this is our year of triumph we are not going to triumph just through desire it will be on the strength of what we know hallelujah there is something we must know there is something i need to know to be higher than where i am my limitation in life right now is the limitation of how far i've been able to access the wisdom of god there's more i've only scratched the surface if i submit myself and i learn more i rise more because i begin to see how predictable my life can be on the strength of wisdom my journey so far is a journey of searching the wisdom of god like a man in a gold mine searching for it when you find it you rejoice because you can stand on the strength there was something i found out about the anointing there was something i found out about miracles signs and wonders it didn't just happen there was a day i found it there was a day i found something about favor it wasn't always like that it's not just time that brought favor no time just continued passing and by the mercy and the grace of god something was accessed listen there is something you can access today that can make your seven days be equivalent to the blessings of five years it's not a prayer it's the truth there is something you can find that can compress the sufferings and the hardship of men my assignment to you this year is to help you understand this and to through emphasis reiterate it again and again until it becomes your conviction if it is not your conviction you will never walk in it let me tell you the truth these things i teach were not things i started teaching this year i've started teaching it before so don't think it's because god has helped today now i say it's easy to no 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 the wisdom of god what is god's call to you tonight stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing if you are not getting it settle down something is wrong did you hear what i said stop guessing prophesy to somebody stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing no stop guessing everybody doesn't like me what do i do stop guessing there is an exact principle that is responsible 
for delightsomeness. Stop guessing. Why is it that everything I touch doesn't work? Stop guessing. Please say it again. Say it to somebody. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Inside, outside, online. Stop guessing. It's risky to guess. The moment anything is not working in my life, I settle down. Shakata balada balada ba. I need to look at this. Something must be wrong. There is something I'm not understanding. It makes your journey easier than just guessing trial and error. You don't have that much of time for trial and error. Man of God, the power of God is not flowing in your life. Stop guessing. Did you hear what I said? Stop guessing. You are not getting something. You pray for somebody and say it is done. He goes to another man of God just looking at him and the demon goes out. Stop guessing. You just told the guy it is done. It is not done. The, the guy still has, the spirit is still there. Are we together? The person came to you for prayer. You now came and said, oh, um, I've been suffering bad luck my whole life. Everything is going wrong. And he said, really? Father, we thank you. We ask that um, this gentleman be free. He says, amen. Now, the fact that he said amen does not mean heaven said amen. The pastor prayed. Don't say they prayed for me. Who prayed for you? What did the person who prayed for you know? What did he know while he was praying for you? I can pray for this person, but the efficacy of my prayer is tied to the limitation of the knowledge I know. Don't just say they prayed for you. Who prayed for you? And what was what what is the, the reservoir of the spiritual knowledge that was resident in the person who prayed for you? It's not just that they prayed for you. So you tell this guy, Go in the name of Jesus, it is done. This gentleman goes and nothing happens. Stop guessing. The person comes somewhere else other than your own place. Are we together? And stands, and someone looks at him and says, Hold my hand. I bless you that's it this gentleman walks out before he gets home an alert has come a call has come is that guessing no sir a gentleman prays for twins over his sister comes for koinonia drops the result when he was praying the twins did not know they were praying for them but they still came out as twins is that guess Remember, he was not the husband of the wife. He was a brother. Ah. If you can pray for twins and they come out twins, think of what else you can determine. Write on paper. And say, after two years, rent over. You wrote it on paper. Two years later, you are standing in your own house where you can set the rules and not have anyone harass you. Do you believe this? That means there's something you can write about your job and say in the name of Jesus, by October, I am employed, gainfully employed. And then you write a salary structure, Lord, I'm trusting you, 150 to 200,000. While you are writing it, those who don't know God say you are a stupid person. Don't mind them. Don't be angry. They are only revealing to you what they have not been taught. So don't argue. You argue you have brought yourself down. You write it. By October, you are in a job. 150,000 for what he said he's able to do are we together yes you can make up your mind and say in the name of Jesus I love God but I'm not going to marry a fool I won't marry a stupid man I'm going to marry somebody that loves God loves me and is serious while you are saying it your friends will say you, you better just say yes to any man that comes so the way we do this thing now go online find any photo you want click like on facebook pursue that person till he says yes and marry quietly that is their own way and they will give you one or two testimonies of those who it worked for did they tell you they are in peace now you say it and you confess and you don't just confess as a lady and stop there you now say okay i understand that life is about partnership lord what is my contribution you can't sit down not doing anything and want God to carry his son that he has refined and worked upon. Worked diligently upon and brought out the best in him and, and just give you. God is not unjust. 
are we together lord what do i need to do and god starts working on you materialism throw it out be mouthy and talking anyhow throw it out you must be of a meek and a quiet spirit you want to marry a great man this your talk talk you will tear down his business god has helped this guy before your arrival you won't come as a destroyer are you ready and so you are he's walking he's taking it out of you in two months you have you are transformed you have become such a virtuous lady you who will be running your mouth talking all kinds of things you will say if if the guy does not have this if there's no jeep i will marry god has worked on you and that way he can now bring you to the person he has destined for you and you will now be a blessing the same way as a guy any lady you see ah this lady is pretty you are not doing anything you are not serious you don't know god you don't know the loss of life there's no structural establishment god is not helping you yet you are just standing and making noise the systems of god oh i want to be a great pastor and you start a church one year two years three years you are still on four members then you start criticizing and say it's not everybody that has crowd oh, keep quiet you are not getting something find out lord what what am i missing and god says one no wisdom two the level of grace there's no result three people are not being changed everybody you prayed for there's no testimony why should people come members are not idiots they will run to where god will visit them criticize them they will not stop members are not stupid in this nigeria of today oh no no people are wise you can keep running your mouth against people while people look for where their solutions are in the rain they will stand in the sun they will stand because what they are going through is, is worse than the sun so they will stand anywhere to make sure they receive please i want you to make up your mind today that anything that is not working in your life just know remember what i said stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing just calm down invite the holy spirit spirit of the living god i am not getting something i am not getting something a meek heart i am not getting something you gave me a beautiful wife now i hate her no affection for my wife again you bless me i'm about to throw my wife out of the house i don't give money nothing what is wrong spirit of the living god help me help me and then light comes dwell with them according to knowledge ah that means there's something i do not understand i think my wife is another man now the bible is bailing me out are we together yes so the next time you meet your wife and she asks you she say how was the how was the um, how was your job today and you say fine say no give me details you won't get angry you will know that that's how women are dwell with them according so you will start we went by 7 a.m uh -huh. by eight o'clock they gave us tea uh -huh. they, you are paying that price because you now understand the systems while you are paying that price what are you going to get a reward you will get a hug you will get a nice meal and you will get you a darling you see that you made adjustment or you can stand and brag and say me i'm a one word man and punish yourself and your life will not go forward how about employees that never get promoted and think it's just demons if you like pour one gallon of anointing oil in your head you are not productive when they want to downsize people they give you you came to work two months they gave you warning you are not productive sir customer relations zero friendliness at work zero on the job zero experience zero humility to learn zero initiative zero even if i'm the one who employed you you are going yes you are going that you are a member of coin you are not productive so instead of just sitting down to get angry and say my boss is a wicked man do you know how much that guy collects 1.2 and he's giving me fifty thousand. no lord i love my boss i pray for him in the name of jesus i declare he is a leader there is something he knows that is setting him above he may not be a very nice man but in the name of jesus i pray for him and i love him and you walk up to him and say sir i just want to say thank you i've been working here eight months and i appreciate your mentorship and your leadership i just brought this wine to say thank you say what what, what is it for i mean I'm, I'm paying you no 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 sir i want to thank you much more than the salary you are changing my life if there is anything that can make me improve 
I am ready to learn. Always know that you are finding a very worthy mentee in me. Thank you, sir. And you go out. You have programmed something. He will act as if he did enter him. Keep watching. The day promotion is coming, and then somebody now comes to say, Do you know this person is Yoruba? He says, See, shut up. It's my company, it's my job. You gave him memories. You showed him that you were ready to learn. The moment you step out, he writes your name. Thank God, this is the person I've been looking for. And then he calls you one day and gives you a very difficult task. And you start saying, Kai, my boss has been on my case for two months. He's testing you. He's seeing that you are the next person who should be the director of that department. He, you, have, you are earning his trust, but your lack of understanding is making you interpret it as wickedness. You brought your boss's name for uh, uh, this thing, uh, uh, miracle service. You dropped it on, and not just, you didn't just write his name. You say, oh God, punish this guy. Frustrate the tokens of this and that. Whereas, listen, if you had understanding and wisdom, you would know that that's your lifting why does he ask me to stay back when others are going and then he gives me a hard job and then he shouts at me and i apologize and he does not say sorry he's not a fool there's something he knew that made him the boss keep watching while he's acting he's taking note one day he calls you and says look um i know that it's not my character to do this but i want you to know that i am absolutely impressed i have watched you for six months all the other people are arguing around those who are insulting him and then he lifts you overnight and then you continue praying for him again will he be perfect no he will do foolish things he will do stupid things but he's still your boss one day he calls you and says look you are so smart why are you still working in this corporation i think you are smart enough to have your own company and he says look call abc and tell them i said they should help you and in three years you have become a ceo of yourself you have become colleagues brothers and sisters lack of wisdom is destroying us are we not seeing this thing our interpretation about people and life is a product of a, a bankruptcy of life we call light darkness we call darkness light are we together we call a process failure we call failure defeat we don't know how to allocate names based on wisdom we call everything everything but god is teaching us tonight that the kingdom of god has systems i came with a fire burning in my spirit tonight that if you can learn the systems of god you will laugh when others are frowning and they will ask you why are you frowning and then you say there's a light that i see that's why i'm laughing you know in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light that i see only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice there's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time I hear your voice it comes, it comes alive Every time I hear your voice And there's a peace In my heart In spite of all the sadness That surrounds me And this peace That I have Only comes alive Every time it comes, it comes alive. Every time I hear your voice, it comes, it comes alive. Every time I hear your voice, you know why? Because you know 
you don't rejoice when things happen you rejoice to make them happen it says rejoice in the Lord always so you don't rejoice just because you feel like no the Holy Ghost moves you you have rent you are writing trouble you are writing no child you are writing no job you are writing no wife you are writing and at the end of it you are dancing and people say ah, i've been hearing a song he said no 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 it's not it. i am dancing because this is what happens knowledge are you hearing what i'm saying now and people look at you and say ah promise would you is it not you that i saw the landlord embarrassing you you claim you are going to church and you can't pay simple forty thousand. the moment you hear don't worry the normal thing is agitation but use intelligence in the spirit you get back and say lord i may not have forty thousand now but i have you i have peace i have joy i may go through embarrassment now but i know that the god i serve the god i serve the god i serve can arise for me they may mock you and say all kinds of things know that a mockery is a sign that satan is already agitated by your success there is something he's seen mockery is a mystery in the spirit it's a sign that your result is appearing already let me tell you hear this hear this if anybody mocks you they gave you a sign that something is already arriving i promise you know this i'm teaching you deep mysteries mockery is a mystery madam are you a man or a woman this is 10 years and you are not married Ooh, start rejoicing don't cry it's a sign that a parcel has left heaven something is coming satan can see and so he says look frustrate them men walk by their senses do something frustrate them but those who are spiritual know they get inside the room and start dancing lord you are so good hey you are worthy of all my praise lord you are so good you are exalted as a lot most high lord you are so good you are worthy of all my praise lord you are so good you are exalted as a lot most high listen and then everything starts agitating you you go to the place of work they are insulting you you come back for the results they are insulting you don't don't cry if you cry you are not wise you begin to rejoice and you go to satan satan what did you see that is making you restless what have you seen what did you see about my baby that is making because you see the attacks were not like that the attacks are a reaction satan has lived long in this planet he knows we walk by sight but for those who have been able to grow spiritually you don't find their tears you say satan if i will ever cry is to god oh it's not to you job was in a state in his life when nothing was working job was on the ground sat down on the ground and his wife told him he said cause god and die job said why are you talking like one of these stupid women ha god though he slay me though he slay me are we together now job's friends came from everywhere and everybody was talking every kind of nonsense let me tell you one of the worst things that can happen to you is to sit down and allow your life to be a subject of debate from people who are bringing all kinds of useless opinions but you love god why did you have the accident but you love why <laughs> joy joy forever who has killed your joy today i show you that it's an attack over something that is arriving who has killed your joy you prayed about finances your destiny helper is about to come but the devil is wrinkling your face with trouble hey they didn't pay salary i understand i understand i wanted to eat well today now that you cannot eat god you are faithful now you be god almighty god 
destiny. I can't be too mature to stop believing the word. No sir. It is the foolishness of man to stop believing God. For anything God cannot do cannot be done. Anything God cannot do cannot be done. No. Can you just blast in tongues for one minute? Hey! 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 Say that man and I must say that in here. Later that here. Don't allow the devil to shake you. Lord of Judah, my trust is in you. The agent of day, my trust is in you. I put them on you. My trust is in you. Say, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. And Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Hey, the ancient of days, my trust is in you. You say my trust is in you. I say I, I put them on you. Say my trust is in you. Oh, and Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. Say my trust. 
hands together everywhere inside and outside and let's begin to pray in the spirit this results we must command it results are commandable those online follow us hold hands with everybody close to you any nation day or night go ahead connect in the spirit inside outside pray one man of faith and power I want you to believe the things that I'm teaching you and I promise you your life will surprise you we're going to take some time to pray that's why I'm stopping here I just sense that grace to pray prayer point number one I insist that I must succeed lift your voice and pray don't be quiet open your mouth everything Adam called Success is my destiny. I have decided to walk with Jesus No turning back No turning back I have decided to walk with Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Prophesy your desire. I have decided the wisdom to walk with Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. and ignorant people to laugh at you while you walk the principles of the kingdom though men forsake me still I will follow no turning back no turning, no turning back though men forsake me still I will follow no turning back
number two lord grace for obedience to walk the mysteries of the kingdom till they produce for me lift your voice and pray grace 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 to apply the kingdom. Grace to apply the kingdom. The mysteries of the anointing. The mysteries for prosperity. The mysteries for peace. For progress. For influence. Grace, grace, grace. You need grace. Pray. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't think we are rounding up. We have some prayers to do. Listen, I want you to mention the areas of challenge in your life and say, Lord, what mystery, what system in the kingdom are the results of this pain tied to reveal to me? Lift your voice and pray. Mention them. Don't keep quiet. Lord, my growth rate is slow. What is the system in the kingdom? that is responsible for speed i cry for revelation are you praying are you praying lord i love you i've seen the anointing on my life but my finances are dying living from hand to mouth what allocation in the kingdom is responsible for that result Lord, I love you. I enjoy a healthy prayer life. My prayer life is robust, but there are no helpers in my life. What am I missing? What am I missing? Norman was the captain of the Syrian army but 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 he was a valiant man in war he excelled in an area but there was an area that was bankrupt show me open my eyes open my eyes open my eyes open my eyes keep praying Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that seeks, finds. And to him that knocks, the door shall be opened. We knock on that door. Jesus, the door, reveal to me. Don't stop praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah prayer point number three every door that opened before and then closed must open again no it must open again no lift your voice and cry lord wherever i missed it i asked for mercy but that door must open again you showed me favor once you must show me favor again you gave me victory once you must give me victory again pray you sent me helpers once. 
demons appear again. My hand has tasted prosperity once. It must come back again. I enjoyed speed before. I cried for restoration. I once was a landlord. Now I'm a tenant. Take me back, oh God. Restore my glory. Restore my honor. Restore my glory. Restore my honor. Restore the anointing. I used to carry the healing anointing once, but it no longer is working. Restore it, oh God. Restore the fire. Turn again our captivity. That means a corporate people can be under captivity. Nigeria can be under captivity. A state can be under captivity, but they can cry and say, Lord, turn again our captivity like the streams. You know how you divert water? That when you are watering a garden or whatever it is, irrigation farming, that water can be going this way and you can block it and make it go this way. God is saying, my life was going this way. Turn my life around. In a way and a manner that people say, ah, we already predicted that by next week you should be in the pit. What are you still doing here? And I'm standing here only because. And they say we even gossiped it. We had concluded that when you are in the pit, this is what we'll say. We have written the testimony. And while we were discussing, we didn't know that God can turn again the captivity of a man many people don't believe God we believe our problems we are used to it that every time God speaks we just hope faith is not hope listen carefully faith Bible faith is not hope it's not hoping God will do it faith is based on a revelation God will convince you and tell you I am able to do it and then activate your spirit through the revelation of his word for you to know that this thing is true. That God can turn a man's life around. I spoke, I was in Port Harcourt the day before yesterday, yesterday we came back today. And I spoke on something I wish I had the time to teach you. It was on Ebenezer, the mystery of help from God. Hallelujah. He said, my help comes from above. I don't know where your own comes from. But my help, my help, not our help. I lift up my eyes to the hills because that's where kings live. And in every hill and every palace, there is a system of protection. But... Uh, this, this situation defies the help that comes from the hill. It says, my help cometh from above. Cometh from above. Cometh from above. Sometimes when God wants to step in and help you, he keeps quiet while everyone mocks you. Because mockery gives God glory. He allows men to vent their foolishness. And he says, are you done? He says, now let me show you what happens when the creator of the ends of the earth decides to step in as a man if i like you there are privileges you can have when god gets up and dusts himself from his throne and decides to visit your case even you you will be shot are we together now that god can turn again the captivity of men i told you we are reading three scriptures scripture number two Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5 Habakkuk chapter 1 ah my spirit is fired up oh God wants to visit somebody Habakkuk chapter 1 B 
Behold, ye among the heathen. Notice that the heathen must participate in that process for God to be glorified. He wants them to see. He says, and regard and wonder marvelously. For I will walk a walk in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. There is something I would do that even you, the recipient, the only reason why you believe is just because you are the possessor of it. But ordinarily, <clears throat> I will walk a walk in your day. There is something I can do in your life that I can do in your family that you will sit back and say, my God, God has done a few things in my own life that even as a man of faith i've had to sit down to say god i fear you god did something in the red sea that made pharaoh look and say this god he is god god did something in babylon that made nebuchadnezzar he wrote a decree not to the people to god turn again captivity i will do a walk tonight I will change things your prayer point of years i will so answer it in a way that you will say lord even if you answered it longer i would still be grateful but what, what is this and god says i did it suddenly lest you think i am so weak that it will have to take a long time <laughs> last scripture Isaiah 41 10 solid verses we are going to read 10 to 20 Isaiah 41 God is turning things around turning things around turning things around when your clock refused to move you fix it because it was supposed to move and if your life has been brought and tied to time then like the clock the clock is a revelation of how your life must move when clock stops moving you fix it or throw it away if your life stays in one place it's a mockery to god is a mockery to you is a mockery to all who are connected to you that your life like the clock must turn 41 from verse 10 to 20 fear thou not this is a word for somebody for i am with thee yes in the midst of the pain the disappointment i am with you the threat letter i am still with you a man gave a testimony i think it was just something to encourage you i'm not sure it's a real story but he held the hands of jesus from that story i'm told and they were walking together in a desert place and then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told jesus he said why did you leave me we i there were four footprints but i got to a point where i saw only two and jesus told him that was when i carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine i knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so i carried you while you were crying not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles you wouldn't have survived it fear thou not do you know why god starts by telling you fear not because the truth is that life can make you fear no matter how bold you are the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it it can shake even the boldest of us and he starts by saying fear thou not for i am with you he said be not dismayed another word is disappointed he said for i am thy god i will strengthen thee yea i will help i will help thee i will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness we are reading to 20 11. behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded he said they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall do what? 
that's where I got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly it says all day that okay let's let's just read 12 no no go go just just go back to two. thou shall seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. 13 for I the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not why because I will help thee don't trivialize the help of God don't when God tells you I want to help you rejoice when God says I want to help you is the same thing um, this guy is locked up here he wants to come up but this is stopping him and I say I want to help you meaning I am stronger than him meaning I know something he doesn't know I want to help you he says fear not O warm Jacob Jacob you are weak I know why does he call Jacob a warm it's not an insult it's a description of your frailty fear not O warm Jacob and ye men of Israel I will help thee saith the Lord thy redeemer the holy one of Israel reading to 2015 behold I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small thou shalt make the heel as child Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. 17. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for tears, read it with me. I, the Lord, stop, stop. When the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18 i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and I will make the wilderness a pool of water. I will make it. I will make the wilderness a barren life. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. I will make a destiny that has no business flourishing. A pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Two more verses. 19. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shatter tree the mitel, the oil tree I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together fruitfulness 20 the last verse that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand take it higher for me sing me that song take it higher 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 guys be sensitive that or Lord Gogoroso. Sing it just one time. Oh Lord Gogoro, he's turning things around. Oh Lord Gogoro, he's turning things around. understand together 
that the hand of the Lord had done this and if it cannot be done the Holy One of Israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot you will still see worms inside how they got there is a miracle that's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access God says when did I start needing a runway when did I start needing ladder to come to the earth when did I start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me I am creator when God speaks it doesn't matter where it is even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth when his voice comes echoed by the voice of the prophet the Bible says bone came out listen carefully if you don't believe what I'm teaching you are wasting your time here tonight take your eyes away from the mountains and say Lord you are going to recreate my life there are things you will have to turn tonight around for me like the streams of the Negev when you read further it says that those that 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 sow in tears will reap in joy he didn't just say those that sow money you can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev in the last few months I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God to assist men I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men no matter who you are if God does not assist you start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence it says some trust in horses and some chariots but we there is there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God I trust God tonight to change our lives I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock God in our lives we have come from far and near many of us made tremendous sacrifices the question is do you believe that this God that we serve that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family to visit a man that God looks at you and says I have decided to come to you I've decided to hold your hand I've decided to lift you I've decided to give you a testimony God comes to a beloved sister and say my daughter they have laughed at you now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah I have come to uphold you I have come to wipe your tears I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone you are called of God but it's as if you are not called no anointing no results no testimony no one placing a demand on your grace but something happens to you God says I'm coming to assist you hold my hands God assists us by asking us to give him our hands do you know why because until your hand is holding him he cannot move you see let me tell you this your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move when your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way you don't qualify for his help when he wants to help you he says place your hand upon my hand and you are now going to use your faith from hence not your hand let me be the one using my hand to clear the way 
let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness let me be the one to make pharaoh give you gold i can give you gold by creating but let's make a caricature out of pharaoh pharaoh you are the one who will give that gold there is a name god is called the father of spirits understand the revelation behind that name every human being is a spirit he resides in a body but god is the father the author every spirit hailed from him it was out of his spirit that every spirit came about and the bible says he is the father of spirits meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass any and every i spoke to a man this morning before leaving um very touching the man stood he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and i looked at the man all his children one could not pay his school fees for four years final year had written his last exam but because of school fees they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay the poor girl the daughter was there the man was there standing and i said this is the signature of satan when Satan comes to your life, you can know he has a signature. He will stamp it on your family. Do your worst. He will stamp it on your destiny. Do your worst. Stamp it on everything around your life. And when God comes to, he will use his hand and erase it. And say, let me put my own. And see who, what devil will come to take it out of you. I prayed for that man with all my heart. I pray for him passionately in that state of poverty and penury the children and the man they put together a seed I, I, I said can I ever accept this I, I collected the seed I prayed with all my heart and then I said look I I place favor may your seed become a tray let me put something upon it for you it's called the favor of God go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around that's the works of darkness some of us are seated here right now our loved ones are in such kind of chaos Satan when Satan does a thing you don't need to ask who did it he does it so clear that men will know it's his finger please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God the works of darkness is darkness the works of God is light. That's why we're here. To disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives. Is God speaking to us tonight? The captivity of Zion. The captivity in your family. The captivity in your life. What is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level? You see it, but to touch it, it looks like there is a resistance. There is a limitation. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray tonight? And then I begin to minister to you by the Spirit. Oh God, turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked. Lift your voice and cry. Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. In Palagato Sika Paragadaba, Breketeke Padaba Koseketeligada, In Pato Sikata, Eko Ton again the captivity, Mam Brekeke Banakata, Brekusakata, Kapereke, In Pakato Sika Paragade, Zakata, Ekuta, Breketeke Padaba Katabanegadibo, In Pata Brekes Teke Badaganabosa, In Brekete Sakata. Hallelujah. I'd like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. <laughs> Shekata 
Mention what must leave your life tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of, I'm, I said, interview. Seven graduates, no one called for interview. And the gentleman, according to what he sent me, he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept. And that's what he said. He said he saw me in the dream. I came and I prophesied. It was like a koinonia service. I laid hands on him. And I mentioned the name of an organization that will call him. True story. He said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview. Now, I don't know whether or not they have given him the job. I don't know that part. But that's God at work. From a dream, prophecy. You wake up physically with the alert. You didn't apply. Ah. Listen, listen. Don't let men fool you. This God, ba, let me tell you, when God decides to help you, don't tell him how he would do it. Your ways, his ways are higher, higher than our ways. His thoughts, higher than our thoughts. When, when you see it's an act of faith to let God choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking God for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you Lord one cup of tea and I'm grateful and God says no if I give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me Are we together? Three things I want to tell you. We'll pray one more time. Number one, God can act very fast. He looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like God is too slow, God can act mysteriously fast. I was watching a documentary. I like watching documentaries um, and on, on a, a, a National Geographic channel. And then they were showing how these animals, all these, these sea mammals, how they eat one another. And sometimes with lightning speed, a giant creature can, in fractions of a second, just dissect another animal. And I said, wow. So don't be deceived by the weight. That it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow. That your God is mighty, that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool, doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you. He can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth. God. We are talking God here. Number one, God can act fast. So that you don't limit God and say, Lord, I know you will act, but um, no problem. No. Number two, listen very carefully god can surpass your wildest imagination now it's difficult to understand but you must believe it god can surpass your wildest imagination he can he can so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that god decides to give you and then number three, Satan and all the limitations that stand before you, listen carefully, 
have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory it's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will God do this promise how is God going to do this if God does it this way there's already a blockage here if God follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if God uses this method my uncle already hates me and God says you only gave me three methods I have methods as infinite as my names I can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins I can use a donkey to speak to you I can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies I can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of God we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody could not bless anybody the word just roam around the streets of Nazareth but when the word became anointed it became Christos the anointed so the word of God is coming to your life I want you to be very sensitive whether it is the prophetic word whether it's an instruction to pray whether it is the deliverance session don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that let your heart connect be angry there is an obstacle for sure you go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you you get up and say it's all right how can it be all right if it's all right who invited them to your life good things about to happen to you all of a sudden your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door recycles your pain again then for many of us what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men the men component God helps by bringing men God can agree with you men can disagree you will still suffer God agreed for David to become king Samuel refused David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed men can stop your breakthrough it's not just demons men can stop your breakthrough and not all men are castable there are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic God doesn't cast them he gives you access to their heart when a man's ways pleases the Lord he makes even his enemies there are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates are we together Lord I'm ready for you tonight lift your voice and pray pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. 
do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen in here outside as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you as you come out here begin to rejoice because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 
no power can stand it glory to the father the forces must let you go hey, hallelujah there's authority in the song that i'm singing hallelujah hallelujah glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb Glory to my Father, you are seated on the floor. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken by the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the spirit is breaking chains overflow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now, Shatakatosh. Be exposed now. Every viper, every snake, scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to 
the Lamb. Glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Force is fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. Overflow one, lift your hands, please. Everyone in overflow one, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow one, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, overflow one, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit. And if it doesn't sound logical, don't worry. Just let me do the prayer. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes. Serpents of the night be judged. Serpents of the night be judged. Serpents of the night be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged. Be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes. Be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing fire. Not impartation. Fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. 
restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away i'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh god i stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please restoration restoration I command restoration of every lost glory even the lawful captive shall be delivered all those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house you may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what god is showing me now and i'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed i'm going to pray lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca, like Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother, my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from Abuja. What's your name? Asmao Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Huh? 
You are Rebecca, Mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then... I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Saminaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes. Come, I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her, just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now, in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Kai, Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, um, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Uh, this, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimi, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay, I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, the spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay. Open your heart. Open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Any kind of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you that makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to start bringing long. It's not there is something. There's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people they will never pass you and go free they must turn back and this thing is destroying your life hold my hands shout jesus look at this so you just think it's just love you are in love with a beautiful girl it's not just love out now go in the name of jesus hallelujah glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb.
I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, anyone from that region, that's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions, let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave, the spirits of ancestry, I curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 lift your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again, the anointing to bring healing, to transport the power of God from the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension, just hold on. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace, the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as...
I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I your talked father, to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, I can't remember. Prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing? Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, leave them. Their loved ones are... Just find out once there. Don't please. If, if you are not related to the people, don't please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in-law. Your in-law. Yes, sir. What do you mean your in-law? From the United States. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother, yes, missing. Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. This is the only one. What happened to him? He left school. I put him in APU, he refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over at times, they call me in the police station, or your state, but that court that is arrested, I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our, honestly, let me speak to us young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. He's your only son. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the AP, he left the school and go away. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. They were smoking Igbo. Police came and packed them with his friends. This is what Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see. When you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. 
if you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing counseling is not the way out there is a real spirit that must be casted out are we together some of you here right now seated in this program you love god but that what what they, they call it codeine again uh, mama 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 don't worry it's it's it's, it's okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them hundred naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about you in this situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom, younger brother. Your mom's younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, you've sir. not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, from okay. Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in the name of Jesus I'm praying everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here I connect them back now in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you I connect them back now in the name of Jesus Jesus called Lazarus and when he called Lazarus he came out I called them by their various names in the spirit for as long as they are alive and walking on this earth I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families those who have been jailed because you see some of these people let's be very fair some of them they, they smuggle their way out of the country they go to libya they go to all of these places some of them go to do prostitution unfortunately some of them go because they want to make money someone tells them come travel and all of that so some of them they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know but regardless of the case for as long as they are on earth we cry for mercy in the name of jesus christ may they be reconnected back to you in Jesus' name, God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. I hope someone is holding that person shouting there. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me, August 7th, I prophesy to him. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life 
within that time I'm seeing a ring a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring ordinary when you see a ring you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage maybe marriage to families but this one God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives right now I stretch my hands that's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying but you just allow me pray every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit be free from them now ladies be free now I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ for the gentleman I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 I command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you Jesus this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me I'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there. And while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes. If your eyes are closed in this life, and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes not to see nonsense around to see something that is destiny molding now look at this girl how will I stand and see someone there and call her out imagine that this lady went back like this to her she will now say oh God so this is how you didn't locate me sensitivity discernment is a priceless spiritual gift sensitivity it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost not wishing praying in the Holy Ghost you activate your organs you have to pray for a long time in the spirit for your spirit to be heightened to be able to perceive spiritual things otherwise you will get into all kinds of error wrong perception that you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear you must continue in the place of prayer 
until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everything that speaks against you leave now. This lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly we'll be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen i want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and, and then if, if there are not many PR department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's, let's make it very
We are going to make it very fast. Please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for. We may not have time to take testimonies. We are just going to pray very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see. Um, Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and Promise, overflow one outside. Pastor Femi and Kenny, overflow two. Let's do it like that. I'll, I'll pray. I'll pray for the ones here by myself. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. In the name of Jesus, everybody say amen. amen. Father, we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow. Heal the sick. Deliver the oppressed. And in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great Yahweh. You're the name above every other name. Great Yahweh. Great Yeah. 
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, O oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. 
some of you before this month is over you will return with strange testimonies it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow may you return with strange testimonies whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level, may it be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus, May the God that gives favor to men grant you favor. In the name of Jesus. For those in need of restoration, I prophesy, receive restoration. For those in need of an urgent miracle, a miracle that has to happen on time, otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours let there be that miracle. for those who have never had an opportunity to laugh every time you want to laugh something comes that must force you to cry I announce to you the season of your laughter begins tonight where you have been despised I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here in ministry and things are not working you are doing your best but it's just not working receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders anyone here in business in the name of Jesus you are entering the season of your best days from now anyone here trusting God for a job for you or for your loved ones between now and the next miracle service return with your testimony return with your testimony return with your testimony every challenge plaguing your family not just you a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is I stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names I bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting God for financial miracles your miracle the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances I agree with you and I release my faith May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person, return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work, the grace for performance, I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you, let July, from July 1st to July 31st, 
may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of jesus christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my god show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of jesus christ every area where you are trusting god to give you divine direction in the name of jesus every spiritual mechanism that god can use to communicate to you i declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness i pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both i prophesy to you in the name of jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you i pray that god will put it in their hearts to help you i speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters i say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you i'm holding my bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this bible fall in love with the word of god an appetite for the word of god i release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say i wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack i cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of jesus christ we declare peace over nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over plateau state we declare peace over kaduna state we declare peace over zaria specifically for zaria we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and in the name of jesus we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people may the angels of the lord in the name of jesus secure the borders of this city secure the borders of the north and we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by god in heaven in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ you are here and you need jesus desperately keep standing please you need jesus desperately desperately you're saying man of god i need jesus as a matter of urgency i have seen the value i have seen the usefulness of jesus in my life hitherto every time i hear about jesus i i resent him i scorn and laugh at those who talk about him but from tonight's meeting the holy spirit has convicted me and i testify and with all humility i declare that i need him second category of people man of god i love jesus with all my heart but i know that i need a strengthening in my spiritual life things have gone haywire if god does not help me there will be no way out for me you belong to these two categories overflow one overflow two main auditorium i'd like you to walk out here quickly overflow three i'd like you to run to your projector stand very quickly i'm counting one to five and we're done one god bless you appreciate them koinonia they are coming two you're still indecisive it's not good for your destiny jesus i love you i want to make a genuine decision for you three 
Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four, please come quickly, quickly double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever I belong to Jesus I declare that I'm a child of God the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted Jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them I pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert, all of you. There will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.